There is one tool that almost every professional option trader relies on. And no, it's not some fancy spread or algorithm. It's actually something called a straddle. A lot of traders have heard of this, but this is where most of them get it wrong. They think that a straddle is a strategy, but it's not. It's more like a weapon. And if you know how to use it, you can make money every time the market misjudges how much a stock is going to move. I'm going to show you how straddles really work, what they are actually telling you about market expectations, and why mastering this one structure could be the most important decision you make in your option selling journey. We're going to skip a lot of the fluff in this video and just go over some high level insights that you can immediately act on. So let's get into it. A straddle just means that you're selling a call and a put on the same expiration at the same strike. And usually it's done right at the money. For example, let's say Apple is trading at $200. You would go out and you would sell the $200 call and the $200 put on the 10 day to expiration options. What you've created when you do this is a structure that looks like an upside down V, kind of like this, where your maximum profit is at the top of that upside down V and it's at the strike or the stock price that is currently trading at, so $200 in our example. If the stock stays completely still, then great, you're going to make a maximum profit as time passes. And as the stock starts to move, your profit starts to decrease until it gets to your break evens, maybe in the middle of that upside down V somewhere. And if it goes beyond that point, then you start to lose some money. But here's the key. That upside down V that we're talking about, that's not just some payoff diagram. It's not like some theoretical thing. It actually is the visualization of your bet against large moves. You see, every single trade you place expresses a view that you have. And the straddles view is pretty simple. Selling a straddle basically says to the market, I don't care which way the stock moves. I just think it's not going to move as much as the market is expecting. That is just a bet against implied volatility. If the market's pricing in a big move and the stock just doesn't deliver, that call and put that you sold are going to decay faster than the stock can move. And you're going to profit from that decay. The idea that this dynamic exists, by the way, is called the variance risk premium. I've got a ton of content about it. I'll link some stuff in the description of this video. And there's something about this straddle that's super interesting and really will help you understand how the straddle is used, which is that the straddle tells you exactly how much movement the market is implying, right? Let's say we're looking at that Apple trade and Apple's trading at $200 and the straddle is going for a total premium of $10. The market is basically saying in this example that we expect Apple to move up or down $10 within the expiration of this option. This creates a range of movement from $190 up to $210. If Apple stays inside that range between now and expiration, you are going to make money by selling the straddle. And if Apple goes outside of that range, of course, you're going to lose money by selling the straddle. This is the cleanest. And if you combine this range idea with another concept we covered in a different video called Delta Hedging. That is basically when you're pro-level option selling, at least from an execution perspective. So if you haven't seen that video too, I'll link it below. Watch that after this one. And all of this combined is why the straddle is the cleanest way to just trade volatility, not direction. So when does it make sense to use a straddle? Well, then there's basically two conditions met. One, you don't have a strong view on what direction the stock's going to go. Like, I don't know what way Apple's going to move in the next 10 days. And number two is you do have a strong view on the size of moves that are going to happen. You may not know what direction it'll go, but you feel confident that it's going to move less than implied. For example, the market's pricing in a 10% move and you think it's only going to move 4%. Well, guess what? Selling the straddle will be a really good trade for you to take. You would sell the straddle, collect the premium, delta hedge it or not, and then wait. And if the stock finishes anywhere inside of that 190 to 210 range, then guess what? You are in the money at expiration. I know I mentioned I have a whole video on delta hedging, but we are going to talk about it briefly here because it is where things get a little bit advanced. So I'd like to at least introduce it. When you delta hedge a straddle, what's happening there is that you're no longer just hoping the stock stays still, which is a really nice little thing to have. You are now actually trading pure volatility. What this allows for is that even if the stock trends in one direction slowly, as long as you're hedging your deltas along the way, the stock can trend outside of that break even. But as long as the daily move size was smaller than the implied move size, you are still going to be able to extract that profit. It takes it from a trade where you actually needed to stay inside the range to a trade where as long as the implied move was actually greater than the realized move, the stock didn't realize as much volatility as what was implied, then you should be able to still extract a profit. There's a whole video that I made about this, which is linked in the description, so make sure to check that one out. Now, I want to pause for a second and talk about something that maybe people don't want to hear, but it's the truth. Even if you learn all this stuff, it doesn't really mean that you're going to make money because the truth is this. The straddle is just a tool. It's like a hammer. Just because you have a hammer doesn't mean you're going to be an electrician that can start a company or make any money. 
In the options world, sure, you have your straddle now, but why are you actually getting paid when you use the straddle? This is the biggest revelation that I think people need to have when it comes to trading, is that tools are not strategies, and strategies are what actually get you paid. If you want to see an example of five different strategies that are data-driven and backed by a mountain of evidence that actually generate positive returns, click the link in the description to take a free trial with Predicting Alpha. You can come in, go through our entire strategy masterclass, steal all my strategies, go for it. All right, last thing we need to talk about in this video is risk management. You think we're going to talk about straddles and not talk about risk management? Come on, of course we got to do it. When you sell a straddle, technically you are carrying unlimited risk because if the stock just goes up to the moon, guess what? You're on the hook for that. So when we're trading this, even though we know that on average they have positive expected returns, we need to be smart about how we manage our risk. We manage risk by controlling three levers when it comes to our trading strategies. Lever number one is sizing. No single trade should be big enough to wreck your account. Like if one trade can lose you 25%, you're already cooked. Lever number two is diversification, which just means that when it comes to your strategy, you want to be running uncorrelated trades across different ETFs or different sectors, things like that. You basically don't want all of your straddles reacting to the same market headline. And number three is smart exits. Just because our straddle starts to lose a couple dollars doesn't mean we're getting out of the trade right away. We exit when implied volatility spikes up to levels that just significantly increase our tail risk, right? Like if VIX is now above 50, even though there's still positive expected value, the variance is just too high for retail traders on average, I think. And it makes sense to step out of the game for a bit until things calm down a little. The variance risk premium, the philosophy behind why we make money, isn't going anywhere. So you don't need to worry about always being in the trade. When things get too rowdy, just step back for a second until it calms down a bit and then jump back into these systematic strategies. And that's basically how we avoid blowups and keep our edge when using straddles intact. Now, if after all of this, straddles feel a little intimidating, that's a good thing. It means you're actually taking this game seriously and giving it the proper consideration that anything you put your money behind deserves. So here is your action step for the video. Number one, open a paper trading account. Let's just start there. We don't need to put real money online to begin with. Number two, I just want you to sell a 30-day straddle on the S&P and Delta Hedge it daily. And most importantly, track your P&L. And then do that a couple more times. Try a couple different tickers, things like that. Because the people who win at this game, they're not just studying, they're executing. And if you want to go even deeper into this game, remember that free trial with Predicting Alpha, it's sitting in the description of this video. It's going to be really good for you. And if you're serious about option selling, you should really check it out. All right, that's everything you need to know about how a straddle works, why it's an awesome tool that you're going to use over and over again as an option seller. If you like this video, comment, subscribe, help us out in the algorithm, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy trading, everyone.